Here on Matazone HD Sportsnet Live, presented by the JMU Alumni Association, John Martin here from CAA Football Media Days in Baltimore, Maryland, with senior safety Dean Marlowe. And Dean, first off, congratulations to being named to the preseason All-CAA team and preseason All-America. What do those things mean to you in your career, especially now as a senior? Um, I would say getting accolades is, is always a great thing, but uh, you know, preseasons really doesn't mean anything until you actually do something that season. So I would say, uh, I mean, it's a great accomplishment knowing that, you know, I succeeded in my career here. But, uh, I mean, I'm just looking forward to making that preseason be an after season, you know, uh, accomplishment. So, Talk a little bit about the changeover now. You've been in the program for three years. Now the change with Coach Withers taking over the program. What's been some of the changes you've noticed in how things have gone heading into this fall camp? Um, the changes I realize is there's a lot of structure now. You know, things are told. Before in the past, we really didn't have a, a great structure how it is now. Now we have something that's told us, and we follow with that. And now, like, it's a lot more discipline involved. And uh, it's a lot more, you know, family-orientated, I would say, a lot more chemistry between coaches and players and players and coaches and coaches and coaches. Like, everybody, you know, clicks as a family. So that's one of the changes that I, I like. And I actually, with the family-orientated, it kind of leads, you know, to the field and, saying how if you more family orientated off the field, you know, you're going to play with that person next to you. So everything is more family orientated, I would say. As a senior, what do you feel like your leadership role is with this team? I feel like I have a big leadership role with this team. Uh, I've been a starter for th the past three seasons. And um, this year I'm just looking to, to bring the young guys, you know, to the level that we know we can play at and, you know, keep them at that high level and, uh, you know, be more vocal and, you know, more um, leading by example and, uh, you know, just, just trying to bring everybody together so we're on the same page so we can win games. Now, with all of this, there's been a change in the defensive alignment going to the 3-4. How has that affected your play in terms of what your responsibilities are in the defensive secondary? It, uh, it affected my play. Um, not too much. I mean, if football is football, so if you, if you know it, you, you'll, be, you'll be fine. But uh, I just felt like it's more of like a pro style. Like we're, we're doing, uh, we watch a lot of NFL film, and we, you know, we do, what we do is we take about what they do. And, you know, we watch a lot of Alabama stuff, too, so... I feel like it hasn't affected my game that much. I think it's actually going to be in a good run for me because we actually have a lot of, you know, uh, pressures and, you know, just a lot of stuff that will carry on to the season and teams will face against. So it will be fine. Now, Coach Staley, uh, the defensive coordinator, he talking to him, he talks about wanting to be aggressive. Has that kind of come out through these preseason practices through the spring? Oh, of course. Like, we uh, – We've done a lot of things that showed pressure. We have um, our strength coach has has did a great job at us, you know, putting on weight, putting on muscle at every position, so we can be at those positions to, you know, bring pressure and from different areas. So, I mean, I don't only give the credit to Coach Staley, but I give it to uh, our strength coach too for putting us in that position to gain weight and having our bodies right for us to be um, effective on defense. Now, one other thing you. You've been known, it's been known throughout that every game you seem to have that one hit that gets the crowd ooing and on it. Is that something you just kind of look for, or just, you know, that hard-hitting style? Because when you came in here three years ago, almost four years ago now, uh, you were a skinny little thing. Now you're not so much skinny. I mean, is that something you just take pride in, that you have that one hit every game that seems to get the crowd uh, cringing in their seats? Yeah. Uh, as a freshman, I was... Playing restaurant freshman, I was 180 pounds. So uh, now I'm about what, like 206, 207. So, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't really look for like getting a hit, but I mean, I wish I could do that every game. But um, it's something that I've realized that with my strength increasing and everything getting, like me getting bigger, me getting stronger, faster, and everything, I just feel like it's been a, you know, a, a good thing to, you know, knock somebody out a couple times. I mean, it's if you can't not want to knock somebody out and not feel good about it when you play defense. So it's great. Well, Dean, we wish you the best of luck, and thanks Thank for you. stopping by today. Appreciate it. Again, Dean Marlowe here with John Martin from CAA Football Media Day in Baltimore on jmusports.com and Mazone HD Sportsnet presented by the JMU Alumni.